They are a big hit in Texas, and it's a point positive that Texas country can carry itself. And they don't need the big help from the big radio stations across the country. So, Casey Donahue Band with a big single coming off the new album, The Standoff. Here is Whiskey Baby on Off the Beaten Path Podcast with me, Ben Merritt. My heart is just like Like whiskey Burns all the way down Lights me up and it gets me right Baby, pour me another round Whiskey, baby, driving me crazy I'm buzzing from my head to my toes I'm flying high and I don't know why Cause it feels like I'm letting go Like us on Facebook. Are you on Facebook or Twitter? At Facebook.com slash Off the Beaten Path. Twitter. And follow us on Twitter at OTBP Podcast. Off the Beaten Path Podcast with me, Ben Merritt. And I'm honored because, uh, well, technically, I would go ahead and call you wrestling royalty, Mickey. But I'm on the phone with Mickey James. Mickey, how are you doing? You. <laughs> Thank you. Well, it's not how very... How you doing? I'm doing spectacular. Oh, great. Thanks so much for having me on. This is awesome. Absolutely. Mickey, I I call you wrestling royalty because it's not very often that I get to interact with a multiple-time world champion. Oh. Well, I've been very fortunate. (laughs) Oh, Mickey. I kick a lot of of butt, but I've gotten my butt kicked a fair amount along the way, you know. Oh, Mickey, you can say ass if you want. This is a podcast. It's on (laughs) the internet. Yeah, you can say ass. If you want to say... I can say ass. Okay, good. You kicked a lot of ass along the way. That's fine. (laughs) <laughs> all right we're just not going to say it a whole lot how about that so okay that's all right fair. well mickey uh a lot of people probably a little confused while you're on the podcast because well again like i said you're wrestling royalty and we'll get to that in a second uh i want to break the ice real quick though i do it with everybody two icebreaker questions are you ready oh i don't know Uh oh here we go <laughs> question number one where are you right now i'm sitting in my living room yeah yeah now, you're a Virginia native. Are you still in Virginia? I am. I am. All right. I live outside of Richmond. It's about 
you know, a half hour outside the city. Don't give us any general directions because people will hunt you, you know. down, I'm sure. <laughs> All right. And question number two, Mickey, besides talking to me right now, what are you doing? Um, watching my dogs. Yeah, see? Cause, their, yeah. Because the thing is, you know, everybody can do at least one or two things while they're on the phone, too. I, I, true. I, well, I'll be honest. I was cleaning my house. Oh, really? Before before now, yeah. <laughs> Got to get... But I had to stop and take a break because, you know, that's probably not something that I want to do and <laughs> podcast at the same time. I don't know. I was on the phone with a guy who was doing plumbing work before. <laughs> Clay, Uncle Snap from the Lax, he was doing plumbing work while he was on the phone with me. I heard clanging, actually, too. So <laughs> He was like, hey, man, I, I hated to do this, but he's from Georgia. He's like, hey, man, I hated to do this, but I literally burst a pipe right before I was supposed to call you, and I didn't want to delay it, so I had to call. <laughs> so he was fixing a pipe while he was talking to me on the phone. It was kind of fun. <laughs> that is pretty funny. So that's why I asked that question, because everybody can do at least two things while they're on the phone. So. <laughs> All right. Well, I appreciate the fact that you're giving me most of your undivided attention. I appreciate it. Well, I will try. Excellent. All right. Well, Mickey, uh, just so that if there are people out there that don't know you as a wrestler, uh, you are a multiple-time world champion. You've been all over. You've been in uh, the independent circuit. You've been in Mexico. You've been uh, – have you done a Japan trip? Like, I'm a wrestling freak, by the way. I'm a fan, so. <laughs> well, I love that. No, I've you know, I've done – I've been in Japan and Korea, but I've only been on, like, the big tours. Okay. So I've never been to Japan, like, through the, the J- Japanese Federation. So, okay. Which would be awesome. That's the one thing I haven't done that I really would like to do. Yeah, because I, I, was, I was reading up on you a little bit, and you've, you've done the, you know, you've done the Mexican tours. You've done the independent circuits, you know, around the, the D.C. area and Ohio and things like that. And obviously you've done your time in the WWE as well. Mm-hmm. So, but now you're with uh, TNA. And uh, at the time of us recording this, you've got a championship match coming up here pretty quick. I do. So, I do. I'm, I'm going against Velvet for the Knockouts Championship, so... That'll live be... on this Thursday. I'm really excited. Absolutely. And yeah, so and I'm hopeful. We'll keep my fingers crossed. I've been training. <laughs> well, again, you know? I I'm excited to talk to you uh on the wrestling side, but you're here because of country music and your devout love of it. You've always you've always been a country girl at heart, I'm guessing. Well, absolutely. Growing up in Virginia, you know it. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of hard to get away from it down there in the uh... Yeah. Well, and I grew up, you know, my grandparents had a horse farm and I you know, that was my entire summers and all my weekends. And um, so, yeah, I just love it. Excellent. It's hard to get away. Like, I feel like I'm in cities so much, and then they're fun and they're great to visit, but home for me is in the country, and it always will be, so. Well, that's, that's awesome to hear because I'm a I'm – a... I'm a transplant as well. I was born and raised in the country, and then I moved to bigger cities. And now I'm back in a smaller town, and I love it, and I'm glad to get back. How about that? Yeah, it's nice. All right. Well, again, we've got uh, big news. You know, you've got an album coming out early May, right? So I'm I'm so excited. Yeah, May 7th, um, and we're having my uh, album release party here in my hometown, Richmond. Excellent. I'm super excited about that, and it's just... It's been amazing, you know, like the, the single came out and, the, and then we put the video out and it's just gotten such a great response and the reviews that have come back have just been really amazing and I'm just, you know, so grateful that it's, you know, doing so well. So I just keep my fingers crossed and hoping for the best. And this isn't, this isn't your first foyer into the world of country music. Uh, through TNA, you recorded your own entrance music called Hardcore Country, right? I did. I did. And I actually think I was, uh, I remember an episode of TNA Wrestling when you were performing it live on like the entrance ramp. And I can't remember who came in at the very end. Like they let you at least do the whole song at least. But, right, right. But somebody came in at the very end and knocked you off the stage. Tara. And Tara yeah. did. That's right. At Black Widow. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, but again, it, it, it was kind of interesting because I was like, wait a minute. Where's this going to go? And I was already working in country music at that time. And uh, lo and behold, not long after that, I saw Mickey James, Hardcore Country, sitting on my desk. And I listened to it without the, you know, the wrestling aspect of it. And I was like, you know, this, right. is, this is not bad. I, I like this one. It's fun. You know, it, it, it works for it exactly what it is. Because it's stuck in your head. It's an anthem. It makes you like, it gets you amped up a bit. 
and for my wrestling entrance music, it was just perfect. And I wrote that with Serge and, and Dale at TNA. So mm-hmm. it was fun. And then we shot the video, you know, in Nashville kind of deal. And that's my entrance video. And it just, it worked out really well. And it worked out because that was my entrance into TNA as well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. Oh, excellent. How about, yeah. Mi- how about Mickey, we all get a little amped up and we're going to listen to that one right now. And we'll come back and we'll talk about the brand new stuff. All right. Love it. Hardcore Country! Hey, hey, can't you see? I'm a rockin' southern girl running wild and free. Hey, y'all walking through the door. High-class style country to the core. I'm not the kind of girl that ever gives up. If anybody tries to bring me down, they'll be picking themselves up off the ground. Cause my rhinestone blue Casey boots will kick your ass back to its roots. Backwoods or uptown. Rocking your your fantasy try to bring me down to your white trash level and you'll find yourself dancing with the devil There you go. I'm all amped up now, Mickey. I don't know about you. I don't know if I'm going to be able to <laughs> be seated for the rest of this interview. I may have to jump around and stand now after hearing Hardcore Country. <laughs> don't lose your headphones. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to hear you. So, again, I'm on the phone with uh, not only an accomplished, very accomplished wrestler, but also a very good country singer. I got Mickey James on the line. Mickey, how you doing? I'm fabulous. Fabulous. Thank you for joining us here on Off the Beaten Path Podcast cool. again. Uh, Mickey, we're trying to get the word out. Nobody needs to know any more about your wrestling. That speaks for itself. But now we're trying to get the word out about your country music singing, okay? Right on. Let's do it. All right. Uh, again, we just heard Hardcore Country. You recorded that for TNA. Use it as your, your entrance music. If you know people tune in on Thursday for your big championship match, they'll hear it as you're walking out to the mat. But now it's time to talk about the album that you got coming out in early May. Tell us a little bit about, because I'm looking at some of the songwriter titles or names on here. You got some pretty big songwriter accomplishment or accompaniment on this. I sure did, and I'm, I'm extremely grateful for that. And the songs are just amazing. And I think the album as a whole, like, what what I really wanted and what we were really aiming for is, like, you know, an album you could just pop in your car and just go for a drive. And I feel like this does that, and it takes you on that ride. And, um... I'm just really excited. Like, I don't feel like there's, like, 
one song, you know, like it's, there's one that's extremely better than any of them. They're all great. So 